when I started working on her fearful symmetry, I thought, well, I will, I will not write the same book over again. I will, I will set out and teach myself to write some other book. And so certainly it is different, and I have, I have thought a lot about the technique of what I was doing. But I think that the things you have to say are essentially the things you have to say. You can't just change channels on that and become a different person. The title of the book here, Fearful Symmetry, comes from William Blake's poem, which starts out, Tiger, Tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night. And I've always loved the poem, but also I was looking for a title that would express the doubling and twinning and opposites that are essential to the theme and structure of the book. I had decided it needed to be in London because that's where the extra cool fantastic cemetery Highgate was. So then I thought, okay, well they're Americans and they come to London, a la Henry James. But then I started with them coming to London and that didn't seem like enough, you know, and I kept going back and back and back until I got to the woman, their aunt, who had given them the place where they come, their flat. And I thought, well, really, that's the beginning, you know, when you, when, you get to, when you get to this woman. And since she was dying and I was interested in her, I was like, well, okay, she'll just be a ghost. And then she can be a character, and even though she's dead, she'll still be a character. I empathize with all my characters in various ways, and they all have something of me in them. And I understand why they do the things they do even if I don't know that I would do that thing. And for me, what, what fiction is all about is kind of exploring different situations and presenting your characters with these hazards and challenges and seeing what they do.